All right, here they go. Come on, girls. Come on, Blue. It's Saturday morning with the DiDonato family and time for the girls to get a little exercise. But in this case, the girls are chickens. So Blue is the little Easter egger that's uh, white and brown. Uh, Charlie, which is the other Easter egger, she's the brown one. She almost looks like a hawk. Blue and Charlie are two laying hens known as Easter eggers, so-called because their breed lays eggs that often have different colored shells. And then you've got Delta, which is the buff Orpington, the little blonde one. She's our little blondie girl. And then you got Echo, which is, she's the Bard Rock, she's the black and white one. So they're all named after the Jurassic World movie. So we thought it'd be funny to name them after the Velociraptors in that movie. So you got Blue, Charlie, Delta, and Echo. The Didonados don't live on a farm. Instead, this is their backyard, right in the middle of a Boise neighborhood. A lot of people are growing their own food in their backyard, from vegetables to fruit. And now a growing number of people are raising backyard chickens. The benefits include fresh eggs and fertilizer. I talked to my wife, I'm like, what do you think about raising backyard chickens? She's like, yeah, let's do it. She's we're kind of like animal lovers. And we also are very interested in kind of knowing like where our eggs are coming from. I mean, just kind of that whole movement, just knowing where your food's actually coming from. And plus, you get, every morning you can go out there and have farm fresh eggs and be able to pick them up and also know they're coming from happy chickens. Raising backyard chickens takes some planning and commitment, including learning about local city regulations and ordinances. We went to a few classes. My wife read quite a few books just to know what we're exactly getting into. If they live in the city of Boise, the ordinance is up to six hens, no roosters. Um, and there's a few other details in there where you need to make sure you're, you're okay when it comes to space and where your chickens can be. Finally, a few months ago, they picked up their baby chicks, called pullets. The chicks were only two days old. When you first get into it, you'll have to get a brooder, and that ranges from 40 to $60 or so for a brooder. You get a light, and your bedding, and your food, and your trays, and everything else to kind of take care of your hatchlings. Mike built the outdoor coop himself, although you can buy pre-built coops at farm supply stores. Chicks are now about three months old, so it will be a few more months before they start laying eggs. It takes about five to six months for them to lay their first eggs. It'll happen after their first molt. We're hoping right around September-ish, we'll hopefully be getting eggs. While the newcomers have made themselves at home in the backyard, it took a little getting used to for the family dogs. We have to put up with an occasional game of chicken. It's mostly the chickens that go after our little chihuahua mix. Eggs are the primary reason for having backyard chickens, but they also produce another benefit. Chicken manure added to the compost pile makes a great organic fertilizer for the garden. A lot of people think that chickens smell. If you maintain it, they, you can't smell a thing. They're pretty clean, actually. And in a few months, the Didonados expect to have some fresh eggs for breakfast, and they'll know where they came from. And I know I've been feeding my chickens and what they've been eating, and also that they've been loved and cared for, so hopefully that also gives me healthy delicious eggs. Oh, and what happens if the chickens don't end up laying any eggs? Will they become Sunday dinner? They will not become dinner. Um, my wife and I are animal lovers and they've become kind of pets. Um, they all have their personalities and we love them just as there are dogs or any other animals that we have. So they'll probably end up retiring here and living out the rest of their lives. Even though they're not laying eggs, they'll still be our, our little chicken pets. For Idaho's News Channel 7, and you can grow it, I'm Jim Duthie.